and welcome back to my channel i am nishtha garwal and in this video i will discuss uh, a text which i have received on instagram account and i believe because i have got similar texts a lot of times so i believe you guys are confused related to that so yes here we go so listen to the question and then i will answer accordingly so here we go Hello, good evening. Hope you are doing well. I wanted a consultation from you since you are quite experienced. I have been going through your Instagram and FB profile regarding your job variations and recently I checked your video on how to create an attractive resume. I am from a science background. I am doing BBA. I have no work experience and I also did not have any internship experience. That should be I do not have. Okay. I have a few high school certificates and an NGO program certificate. I want to join a job in the hospitality and tourism industry. So what should I do now since I do not have any experience? Should I go for an internship or should I directly apply for a job? Being an absolutely fresher, I do not know what to do and how to begin with. Could you please help me? Could you please guide me? So first of all, this is not the only text which I have got. I've got several texts like this that after 12th or after graduation, they really want to go into different industry coming from a different background, but they want to go into hospitality or tourism industry. So what they should really do for that? Should they pursue a new course uh, in the same industry or should they go for an internship or should they directly apply? So I know nowadays you guys have started checking my Facebook account as well where I have mentioned where and where I have worked. So okay let me start with it. So uh, during my college days I always um, I always wanted to be independent. I didn't want to take money from my family or my mother so i wanted to do stuff on my own and i wanted to explore more so uh, i started with the internships uh, i have done bsc mathematics honors from delhi university so the course is regular and it is a really very difficult uh, course you all know that so i joined college in july uh, no august and i started with my first internship in september and my very first internship was with intern theory and further i got internships and i applied for the internships through that portal only that is intern theory i will mention that in the description box as well so afterwards i used to apply from intern shala as well i got to know and i got to learn a lot through these platforms and i have done in the in the course of three years i have done internships for 18 months so I used to go to college for like just one month and rest of the time I used to go for full time internships and again the attendance it is compulsory for 65% but in my college there was not mandatory that was not mandatory somehow somehow I was able to manage the things on my own. So yes, I used to go for full-time internships and as I put up in Gurgaon, so I had a lot of, a lot of opportunity. So from my school time only, I was good at everything. I was a scholar and then I was good at sports. I was a state level dancer and I was a singer as well. I used to love this uh, stage. Uh, I used to be there on the stage each and every day, no matter I'm sick, no matter what. I used to be there on the stage all the time and... Um, on Saturdays even I used to go to the school and I used to be in the ground all the time uh, exploring more or learning more participating more I used to attend the classes my my homework used to be up to date but again yes I love to do stuff like that as well because um, I couldn't settle for just one thing I didn't want to I didn't want to just learn things from the books just grab them up mug them up i didn't want to do that but i wanted to learn more i wanted my mind to refresh and i wanted to explore more so yes that's how i did everything i always wanted to do something with my communications in my school days i was an introvert i used to participate in everything but i didn't like to talk to people much but
but when i entered into college i realized how important it is to get into a conversation to talk to people what i believe is if you are talking to somebody if you are talking to me if i am talking to you then we both can learn something from each other and the experience keeps on adding on it's not just about the age but the experience comes uh, due to the circumstances and your learning so when i applied for my first internship um that was for i had to register 100 students on the portal and for that i got uh, an amount and lor and a certificate as well so i was quite happy then yeah internships somewhere are free like you do not get any pay for that but i never did any internship for free i won't recommend you to go and do work just for free but it's always a bonus if you learn and you get some money as well so yes i did my internships in sales and marketing as i'm good with my communication skills and i really wanted to go further with the communication skills only so the question over here is should she really go for an internship or for a proper job or should she go for an for a different course in hospitality and tourism what i believe is you really do not need any course you just need your communication skills how you handle the people and how you tackle the situation because if you are going into this industry you should have a pleasing personality doesn't matter your skin color your features or anything but yes how you handle the situations and how you talk to people how you communicate all right that is the only thing i would not recommend you to go for any specific course or any any specific uh, graduation or post graduation yes if you want to explore this industry uh, if you would fit better because you really do not know about it because uh, you do not have any experience of internships or any certificates or any um, sort of indulgence into that so yes i would recommend you to go first for an internship explore this industry more how can you really get to know the things into this industry because getting into a different industry from a different background it sometimes get difficult many of the people when i go for an interview be it uh, for airlines or be it for corporate sectors or mncs be it anything everybody asks me after doing maths honors why this sector you could go for actuarial sciences or um, related to data scientists or something but i do not have any interest into that yes uh, i know the softwares and i can work on them but that is not my interest at the end i want to do something which i have to do i do not want to sit on a desk and you know uh, be there for nine to five or nine to six and just just be there and finish the work and go back to the home and feel like what did i do the whole day i do not want to do that so if you are like my kind of a person then uh, Okay, so uh, the user, uh, I would recommend you that you need not to go for any course or for any, you know, any such kind of thing. If you feel like for internship or for a job, I would recommend you. If you feel you want to explore and you want to know this industry more, then definitely you should go for an internship. But if you feel like, yes, you know enough about it and you are ready to go for a job, then just go through the requirements of the certain platforms or the certain industries or the certain companies just go through the description of the particular job and then apply the most most uh, pl uh, good platform nowadays is linkedin through which you get to know a lot of people a lot of connections you make and of course a lot of jobs new jobs you get to know and you can apply through that as well so yes this can help you uh, i would recommend you this only and but yes before entering into the industry or switching your industry be sure what you are doing and what you are getting into does it really you know encourages you or does it really excites you to get into this industry then only go for it. so if you have a doubt of one person or two percent as well then also you should go because i do not want anybody to regret in their life that they could do this stuff they could land into a different uh, field or world but now they are doing something else so it is somewhat a thing which you have to decide and which you will be doing for the rest of your life so yes decide what excites you more to do so accordingly follow it 
so yes you really do not need any diploma or any particular certificate for it you can go with the skill set so yes if you feel like this video can help anybody else just like you then please forward this video and if you like watching my videos then please subscribe to my channel and turn that black thumb blue if you like this video and you can comment whatever you want to and you can ask me any question particularly related to the career or anything motivational or if you feel like if you uh, are going through a certain problem in your life then also you can ask me i am always there you are not alone and i'm there to support you guys so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video and of course cheers to life bye bye